Pharmacy Technician, Wikipedia Article Audio A pharmacy technician is a healthcare provider who performs pharmacy-related functions, generally working under the direct supervision of a licensed pharmacist. Pharmacy technicians work in a variety of locations, but can also work for long-term care facilities, pharmaceutical manufacturers, third-party insurance companies, computer software companies, or in government or teaching. Job duties include dispensing prescription drugs and other medical devices to patients and instructing on their use. They may also perform administrative duties in pharmaceutical practice, such as reviewing prescription requests with doctors' offices and insurance companies to ensure correct medications are provided and payment is received. Training and Practice In recent times, pharmacy technicians also speak directly with the patients on the phone to aid in the awareness of taking medications on time. In many countries, both developed and developing, the relative importance of pharmacy technicians within the pharmacy workforce has been amplified in recent years, largely as a reaction to pharmacist shortages resulting in an increase in their numbers and responsibilities, alternative medicine, pharmacotherapeutics, customer care, retail and hospital software systems, inventory management, and infection control. Practical training, such as completing an internship in a pharmacy, is also often required as part of training for employment as a pharmacy technician. Many employers favor pharmacy technicians to be certified with a national or local pharmacy board, such as by passing a standard exam and slash or paying a fee. In the United States, voluntary certification is available through many private organizations. Elsewhere, such as in Tanzania and the United Kingdom, Pharmacy technicians are required to be registered with the National Regulatory Council. National Variations In the United States, there is no mandated regulatory agency governing the training of pharmacy technicians. Each state has a board of pharmacy which regulates the licensure of pharmacy technicians in their state. Licensure requirements vary widely by state. Some states require training from board-approved schools, PTCB certification, on-the-job training, or no requirements at all. There are two national examinations for the certification of pharmacy technicians. Colombia The PTCB, Pharmacy Technician Certification Board, has enacted a plan to require an ASHP certified pharmacy technician education program by the year 2020. This is a hotly debated issue, as training schools have come under great scrutiny regarding the issuance of Title IV loans. According to rxtechhexam.com, all that is required to become a nationally certified pharmacy technician is Germany. In Canada, according to a 2007 profile of the pharmacy technician workforce, 43% of technicians work in hospitals and other related facilities, 37% in chain or franchise community pharmacies, and 16% in independent community pharmacies. Most obtained pharmacy technician training from a career college or community college. Some had only a high school education and no formal pharmacy training, while about 20% had some university education. A very small proportion had trained and worked abroad as either pharmacists or pharmacy technicians. The wide range of technical training and educational attainment likely reflects in part the variety of training programs for pharmacy technicians currently available in the different provinces and territories of the country. Accredited pharmacy technician diploma, certificate and college programs are offered in the Ontario, Alberta, British Columbia, Nova Scotia, 
Manitoba, Saskatchewan and New Brunswick. 908. Saudi Arabia. In provinces and jurisdictions where pharmacy technician is a regulated health profession, professional liability insurance is required in order to practice. Sri Lanka In Colombia, pharmacy technicians are known as pharmacy regency technologists, erroneously called pharmacy regents. They graduate of several universities after three years of training. This occupation appeared due to the lack of pharmacists in Colombia, that is why they are commonly confused with pharmacists. The pharmacy regency technicians in Colombia are regulated and monitored by the Ministry of Health and Social Protection. According to the German Statistisches Bundesamt, 66.867 pharmacy technicians are working in Germany. About 90% are working as employees in community pharmacies. Their salary is part of agreements between employers' associations and ADEXA. Ghana India Nigeria Tanzania In Saudi Arabia, pharmacy technicians are known as assistant pharmacist. They graduate of several universities after three and a half years of education and training. This occupation appeared due to the lack of pharmacists in Saudi Arabia in 1990, that is why they are commonly confused with pharmacists. The pharmacy regency technicians in Saudi Arabia are regulated and monitored by the Saudi Commission for Health Specialties. According to the Mo statistics, there is about 8.471 of pharmacy technicians work in Mo Saudi Arabia 2015. In 2010, the Minister of Health, Abdullah Al Rabia, issued a decision to stop the teaching of pharmacy technicians immediately. In Sri Lanka, the National Apprentices and Industrial Training Authority has developed national competency standards leading to the award of NVQ Level 4 certification as pharmacy technician for the pharmacy employees who are with above five years of experience. The NCS is approved by the Tertiary and Vocational Education Commission in 2016 and presently it is being implemented. There are over 10,000 experienced employees all over the island will benefit. The one-year training will consists of subject areas in compounding, dispensing stock management housekeeping practices and customer care development. In Ghana, a 2009 assessment of pharmaceutical human resources identified a total of 1,637 practicing pharmacists. 918 practicing pharmacy technicians slash technologists, and 1,642 medicine counter assistants. Nearly half of pharmacies and pharmaceutical manufacturers across the country reported having one or more vacancies for pharmaceutical personnel, including 82% of public sector facilities. In the area of training, the assessment identified only one pharmacy technologist's training school in the country. In India, medical colleges CPR also known as MCCPR provides full training on pharmacy technician. The basic eligibility in India to enroll in this course is 10 plus 2 or diploma. There are two batches a year that intakes approximately 40 students per batch. Pharmacy technicians in Nigeria make up 75% of pharmaceutical workforce and are looking for their counsel reason being the Pharmacist Council of Nigeria refuses to allocate responsibilities that will give them right to practice at community level interdependently. The case was in court and the court ruled against PCN on December 3, 2008.
Nigerian pharmacy technicians in collaboration with NBTE are currently saving Nigerian economy and Nigerians from the professional monopoly played by Pharmacist Council of Nigeria which led to abundant fake drugs due lack of manpower. This exposed Nigerian to a lot of problems which lead reduction in productivity leading to sustainable poverty. Nigerian pharmacy technicians in collaboration with NBTE are able to achieve these by introducing ND-HND in pharmaceutical technology. PCN is doing everything possible to stop this training in order to sustain its monopoly, demanding Federal Ministry of Education to direct NBTE to stop accrediting the polytechnics while these course are offered in Ghana, Sudan, and other countries. The meeting called at the instance of National Board for Technical Education on May 25, 2016 where the Pharmacists' Council of Nigeria, representative of the Honorable Minister of Health, Federal Ministry of Education, Pharmaceutical Society of Nigeria and National Association of Pharmaceutical Technologists and Pharmacy Technicians of Nigeria were in attendance certain issues bothering on the nomenclature pharmaceutical technologists, the curriculum, and the accrediting body for polytechnic. Graduates of pharmaceutical technology were raised. There it was made clear that the nomenclature is not new in Nigeria as the training of people bearing the name were trained at the former school of pharmaceutical technologists between 19,811 and 1985. The premises of the school is being used as the liaison office of the Pharmacists' Council of Nigeria today. It was also established that National Board for Technical Education is saddled with the accreditation of courses offered by polytechnics and monotechnics in the Federal Republic of Nigeria. As for the curriculum findings revealed that NBTE is in line with the legal instrument that established the board. Meanwhile it was unanimously agreed that all relevant bodies should come together to review the complaints of the PCN. National Board for Technical Education. Tanzania has two pharmaceutical technician schools, one is a public sector institution under the Ministry of Health and Social Welfare and accredited by Mohimbili University of Health and Allied Sciences and the other is affiliated with a faith-based organization located in Kilimanjaro which offers diploma training. The practice of pharmaceutical technicians is regulated by Tanzania Pharmacy Council, which enrolls and enlists them. The country has 0.11 registered pharmacy technicians per 10,000 population. The main job duties of pharmaceutical technicians include dispensing, stock management, compounding, quantification of pharmaceutical formulations, and laboratory work. In some areas of the country facing acute shortage of physicians and other clinicians, pharmacy technicians have also been found prescribing. In the United Kingdom, a pharmacy technician now must complete a recognized accredited training program with vocational training to SVQ slash NVQ level 3 in pharmacy services as well as an academic underpinning knowledge program such as BTEC or National Certificate Pharmacy Services. In addition a minimum period of time of working as a trainee pharmacy technician is needed before final qualification and compulsory registration is required before commencing work as a pharmacy technician. Pharmacy technicians may counsel patients on their medication as well as general dispensing of prescriptions. In community pharmacy, it has been recognized that the role is difficult to distinguish from that of a dispensing assistant with an NVQ2 qualification. Additional training is available to qualified pharmacy technicians and can include accuracy checking of dispensed prescriptions, medicines management, participation in the running of hospital clinics such as anticoagulant clinics, dosing warfarin patients under dose banding guidance or other higher duties traditionally done by pharmacists. 
In the National Health Service pharmacy technicians work under the direct supervision of a senior-slash-specialist pharmacy technician and is accountable to the chief pharmacy technician-slash-lead pharmacist even if not in a dispensary and work mainly in one of two areas, hospital pharmacy and community pharmacy. Some also work in doctors' general practices and in primary care trusts. In England, Scotland, and Wales, since July 1, 2011, qualified pharmacy technicians have to be registered with the General Pharmaceutical Council to practice and call themselves a pharmacy technician. The title pharmacy technician is a protected title and requires the user to register with the General Pharmaceutical Council. A pharmacy dispenser cannot call themselves or work as a pharmacy technician or register with the General Pharmaceutical Council. Pharmacy technicians in hospitals are graded on the same agenda for change banding as nurses and other healthcare professionals. They start on a set percentage of a band 4 as a trainee moving on to band 4 when newly qualified PhD and can work their way to a band 8B in charge of a department slash area. A band 8B is the equivalent of a nurse lead slash senior nurse manager in nursing or other head of department in the NHS. Although band 8B is possible, a successful pharmacy technician can reasonably expect to reach band 7A in the latter stage of their career, earning an average of 35,898. Registered pharmacy technicians in the NHS are responsible for the training and development of pharmacy support workers, senior pharmacy support workers and pre-registration trainee pharmacy technicians. Further training and qualifications after initial registration as a RPHT enable them to perform this mentoring role. Pharmacy technicians in the UK are now referred to as healthcare professionals in their own right due to their ever-expanding role, although registered pharmacists are obviously considered experts in the pharmaceutical field and RPHTs are subordinate to pharmacists. The reference to pharmacy technicians as professionals has been subject to challenge. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, about 75% of pharmacy technicians in the U.S. work in a retail setting, such as an independently owned drugstore, a mass retailer chain, or a mail order or online pharmacy. An additional 16% of pharmacy technician jobs were in hospitals, while others worked for nursing homes, pharmaceutical wholesalers, or the federal government. To work in any of these settings, certain requirements must be met. Requirements vary by state. As of 2016, the nationwide average hourly pay for pharmacy technicians working in retail or independent pharmacies is $12.26 and for pharmacy technicians working in hospital setting is $14.57. CPHT is the abbreviation for Certified Pharmacy Technician. The CPHT works directly under a pharmacist, R.PH or a PharmD will need to be certified within two years of registration with the Division of Professional Regulation. After obtaining technical school education, an associate degree, or work training, the technician may take a certification exam. Exam preparation may also be provided by some employers. Examinations are offered by two certifying bodies. The first is the Pharmacy Technician Certification Exam, which is offered by the Pharmacy Technician Certification Board. The second is the exam for the certification of Pharmacy Technician offered by the National Healthcare Association. Upon successful completion of the examination, the candidate is granted certification. The technician must then complete continuing education to maintain certification. There are many scopes of the workplace for the certified pharmacy technician. 
In a retail setting, a CPHT works under the direct supervision of a pharmacist who dispenses prescription medication, and must be familiar with over-the-counter areas as well as third-party insurance billing processes. In an inpatient setting, the CPHT works throughout the hospital, packing and dispensing medications in satellite pharmacies and to the various nursing units, compounding intravenous medication while using a septic technique, narcotic medication dispensing and inventorial procedures, as well as documenting patient's weight, height, drug allergies and other needed information in medication records. To practice as a pharmacy technician in Arizona, one must acquire a license from the Arizona State Board of Pharmacy. There are two levels of licenses, the trainee license and the full license. United Kingdom The trainee license is required for our students to practice during their externships. To obtain a trainee license, students apply at the Arizona State Board of Pharmacy with their U.S. birth certificate and high school diploma or GED. In order to obtain a full license, Graduates must be certified by the Pharmacy Technician Certification Board. While going through this process, some graduates may work under a trainee license. In order to receive a full license from the Arizona State Board of Pharmacy, one must first pass the Pharmacy Technician Certification Exam. The Pharmacy Technician Certification Board administers this exam and the issuing of certifications. When applying for a certified license, you will be required to show proof of your PTCB certification. Both the certified license and PTCB certification must be renewed every two years. This requires that the applicant successfully complete 20 hours of continuing education before renewing their certification and applying for a renewed license. The California State Board of Pharmacy is managed by the California Department of Consumer Affairs. It was established in 1891 in order to regulate the practice of pharmacy and sale of poisons in the state of California. As of 2009, the board consisted of seven pharmacists and six public members, for a total of 13 members. All seven pharmacists and four public members were appointed by the governor of the state. The remaining two were appointed by the Assembly Speaker and Senate Rules Committee. The board issues licenses slash registration for pharmacists, intern pharmacists and pharmacy technicians, as well as site permits for pharmacies or other establishments that dispense prescription drugs in the state. All registration, license and permit renewals are handled by the board as well as complaints and enforcement actions. To be eligible to become licensed as a pharmacy technician in California, one must have a high school diploma or a general education development certificate and qualify under any one of the following conditions. United States Potential employees that have met all state requirements can expect to enjoy positive employment and salary growth between now and 2020. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, this positive growth trend is expected to play out in the state of California as well as nationwide. CPHT State of Arizona Pharmacy Technician Requirements State of California Pharmacy Technician Requirements State of South Carolina Pharmacy Technician Requirements Zimbabwe. Around 9% of the country. S334,400 pharmacy technicians reside in California and the state is home to the top 10 highest paying metropolitan areas for technicians. Employment growth is up across the U.S. overall, with California holding the number one spot for employment growth. Salary growth is notable as well, 
placing California at number three on the list of states with the highest salaries. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, pharmacy technician salaries and employment figures for California are as follows. South Carolina requires a current pharmacy technician registration, a copy of high school diploma or GED must be submitted, and completion of a formal academic training program accredited by ASHP. One must also pass the national certification exam, and complete 1,000 hours of practical experience under a South Carolina licensed pharmacist. The average yearly salary for pharmacy technicians in South Carolina was $27,000 in 2015. Pharmacy technicians are trained at Harare Polytechnic. Students graduate with a diploma after three years of training. The program is run by the Ministry of Health and Child Welfare of Zimbabwe. There is an intake of about 35 students each year.